what is that made of? You need to make sure it's going to sell at a price that's going to give you a margin, like this Princess House lead crystal little Holy Family Nativity. Okay, oh my, look at you. Oh, it's the Titanic. I came back and looked closer at these melamine because they had a nice look. Oh, that's really interesting. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say if a nativity scene has glitter on it, it's probably not real high end. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Once again, it is a rainy day in Vegas. I think this is like the most rain we've had in a very long time, which again, as I said the last time, great. We need the rain, we need to fill up Lake Mead, but you know, glasses, rain, buying stuff, not a good mix. <laughs> so I need to time my shopping trips in between the rain, but sometimes that's not possible. But I am at the Goodwill where I find a lot of really good things usually. I, I think I've probably found the most mid-century decor items in this store of all the stores that I've gone to. And we have 18 Goodwills here in Las Vegas. Uh, someday I'm gonna just do a thing where I like try to hit every single one in one day. I don't even know if that's possible. I may try to do that though, but I digress. Let's get in here, let's find some really great resale items, and let's get shop done. All right, let's get in here and see what goodies we can find. First things first, let's pick out our lucky cart. Ooh, I like the feel of that one. And our color is blue. Look at that big beautiful shell still sitting there, tempting me. It is still $20 though, and it still has a chip, so <sighs> it makes it easier to leave, but I do actually love the look of it. Steins. Steins are not something I really deal in. I know that if this is kind of your niche, there are some that bring some good money, but for the most part, you got to know. You got to really do your research. Um, Avon used to do these when I was selling Avon way back when. This one's from 1976. That's a super old one. That might have some value, I'm not sure. This one's an Avon as well. And then there's some other ones. Miss Columbia. Interesting, like this is somebody's whole collection, probably came out of an estate drop off. So there could be, there could be some there, but again, it's not something that I really enjoy. So I wouldn't want to dig in and do the work to figure all that out. This guy is super beautiful and I love him, but he is $14.99. So, unfortunately, he'll have to stay here. Got some dolls down here. Oh, look at Toe Picker guy still here. Let's see what this is. Bless Reach? What is Bless Reach? I don't even know how you open that. I don't, what is, oh, it's just a cushion. All right, let's look what these are under here. Liberty Falls collections. I think these have really dropped in value over the years. $5.99 a piece, red tag, not gonna be for us. It's a little cork diorama. This one looks to be like a wall hanging. It's got a tassel. I generally do like these, but I don't know, I'm really, as I go through all of my inventory over the past, I'm finding that if I don't super, super love it, uh, I have trouble. I have trouble getting it listed. I have trouble dealing with it. And then it's the stuff that just kind of is there reminding me about things I shouldn't have bought. This is hand painted Limax. It's kind of pretty, but again, I don't really need any more of that kind of inventory. So my cart might not be as full as usual. We'll see. 1980 Avon, handcrafted in Brazil. See how it says exclusively for Avon? That's what Avon did. They licensed 
out to all of these different companies to make things for them and then put their name on it. Let's see who we've got up here. What are these little guys? It says Noel. And then we have a penguin. But nothing, nothing real enticing. He looks like he's got some age on him. $5.99 though. He is probably a Fontanini. He is Deposse Italy, means made in Italy. And he's that kind of rubbery, I don't even know if you, I mean, it is a plastic, but it's kind of that hard rubbery plastic that Fontanini's known for. He's probably like a piece to a nativity. I don't remember there being a piper at the, uh, at the birth of Christ, but maybe there was. We got a little piece of Lennox for $5.99. Again, doesn't have the resale value to pay that, so that one could be here a while. This is a pretty little agate slice, $4.99. Now I do tend to use these in my own decorating and I put, you know, like smaller pieces in these. Uh, I think for five bucks, I will pick that one up and I will market it first. And if no takers, then it'll go into my collection. I always have to remember, look up, look up, look up. That's where they put some big stuff. She's kind of interesting. Oh, look at her swinging on her little swing. Oh, she's $14.99. Oh, and she is broken too. Okay, Goodwill, at least if you're going to price it high, make sure it's not broken. Let's see what else we have on the little tchotchke shelves here. That looks like, I was going to say it's a Tracy Porter, but this one is a Royal Albert Winter Festival with little painted design on it for $4.99. It's got a very Tracy Porter look to it. It's just not very exciting to me, so that one stays little globe. Oh, she is very old. I looked these up last time. These are from Greece. I actually only see one now. There was a whole bunch of them the last time I was here. Um, but again, they just, it's all about the profit margin for resellers. You have to look at what is it going to sell for? How long are you going to take to sell it approximately? Of course, you can't know that for sure. Uh, but you, you know, once you get the experience, you kind of know which things are what we call long tail, which things are going to sell quickly. And so you have to make your decisions based on all of those factors. So for me, I got to leave a lot of stuff because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. What is that made of? He's ceramic. He's got to be like somebody's hobby piece. He is. Look at that. 8511. Looks like Brian... Gradney made the cool the cool shark. Okay, we are not going to get this, but it needs some better placements so he gets the attention he deserves because somebody, somebody is going to snag that fine, fine piece by, by Brian. I'm just going to I'm going to move a couple things around here. Let's see. Let's put, oh my gosh. Where do we put it? Let's put you here. Alright, alright. Front and center. Somebody needs to buy you. Alright, let's look through these candles. Ooh, that's a nice crystal vase. Nice cut quality. Vintage, not antique. Mm, not for eight bucks. It's just not it's just not all that. Oh you're very precarious sitting there. You go over here. We don't want any any spillage little shell box sweet see this is the stuff that i'm kind of keeping myself from picking up because i love stuff like that but it's not a wise business decision right now this is a nice nice little jar but it's ten dollars again uh these are wait a minute are they reversible oh they are reversible oh that's that's interesting Okay, let's put them a little more stable. They are $6 each. We'll leave those. Oh, look at this poor little old cow. You are very chipped up. 
You're you're sweet, but you're a no. You're a no. Don't see any yeses on this shelf. Let's see what we've got in the kind of the wreath foliage here on the end cap. Mm, nothing exciting. Okay, we're getting into the holiday goodies here. What are these carousel Christmas ornaments? Ah, oh, six bucks. They're from Costco. Yeah. I mean, they're fun. Probably for like 99 cents, I would have picked those up and sold them as a set, but not for six bucks each. Price is everything. The old saying is you make your money in the buy. And that's so true because if you pay too much for it, you're not going to make any money. So you literally make your money when you're buying it. That's what that saying means. So it's important not to get carried away and just buy something because it will sell. You need to make sure it's going to sell at a price that's going to give you a margin. Like this princess house, lead crystal, little holy family nativity. They've got all taped together here. They've got $40 on it. I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot of meat on the bone on that one. And meat on the bone simply means there's there's a profit margin. What's in this box? Looks like Christmas goodies. Oh yes, big ornaments. Oh, those are fun. But We don't need them. Whoop. They have another nativity. This one is $70. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, if a nativity scene has glitter on it, it's probably not real high end. Let's pull one. Oh, and he's broken. So there's broken pieces. And there's no markings. So this is a fairly generic nativity oh look joseph has a broken arm i don't even mary let's see mary joseph and there's no baby jesus mm, i think that price is a little optimistic oh i love these this is a little souvenir ruby flashed it says walter from grandma christmas and then there is a date what is that date let's see if we can make it out it's going to be early 1900s yep oh it literally is 1900 you know what that that is just too awesome to leave on the shelf 399 it's coming with me and that is considered a early american pressed glass piece with a ruby flash kind of a cool plate from puerta puerta vallarta Is this one Sango? Feel like you're not in the right place. Okay, nothing else exciting. Ooh, what are you? See, I've already forgotten the color. I've already forgotten the color. It's, I'm looking over. It's blue. Okay, the color is blue, not green. I was thinking it was green for a minute. Okay, now I feel this, and it's not as old as I thought it was. Uh, there's some 90s vases that do really, really well. This kind of modernist look. It's also a little bigger than I want to be dealing with right now. But if somebody's just decorating and they don't want to pay the money for the, for the expensive modernist piece, they can pick that up and most people will never know the difference while it's on their shelf. Crystal de Arcs. Okay. Nice decorative pieces. What are you? Not very good quality. Let's see if there's anything hiding in here. This looks vintage, but just not super desirable vintage. I like the little terracotta. Uh, but I don't see anything worth putting in our cart. Not yet. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to bring out a cart while I'm here. 
lights in here early on a Sunday morning. It's nice and quiet and they're generally back there starting the day working and will bring things out within an hour of opening. This is a cool um, mid-century planter. Ugh, it's got some cracks. All right. Can't take it with the cracks. That's too bad. All right, big stuff. Ooh, is this a wine chiller? Look at the angle of that. I do believe that's what this is, is a marble wine chiller. Somebody is trying to switch tags. I'm pretty sure that is the correct tag. Uh, a little heavier than I want to deal with today, so not going to pick that up. These are fun. Look at the owl glasses. They are not old. And they're not an even number. Okay. Oh my, look at you. Oh, look at the giraffe head. It's a platter. It's a platter that you could turn into a wall hanging. It looks like there was something on here before. Oh man, he is he is cool. I don't know if he is $7.99 cool though, because he's got a little bit of wear and tear. Somebody would have to fix him up. Man, I do like him though. You know what? <laughs> I've got to get him. Oh, look, I could tell Jordan I found her wedding bouquet. Just kidding. She's going to put it together herself. But it shows that people do use fake flowers now for their bouquets. Thank you to everybody who kind of responded to that comment in a previous video about the fake flowers being used for decor. Perfectly acceptable and frugal and reusable. Like, why not? If these were not $3.99 each, I would get them, but they're maybe worth like $12 for the pair. So again, can't pay eight. Parfum. This is a little box that's being made to look older than it is. Just very decorative. Wow. Hello, Mr. Penguin. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, I'm really not even going to look through all this signage, but these fish caught my eye. Oh, are you broken? No, it says read. Made in USA. Oh, you hang this way. <gasps> oh. They hang out from the wall. Those are kind of fun and quirky. I like those for five bucks each. Oh, what are you? Bookends? Oh, you're just bookends. Like little cheapy bookends, but look, found another friend. So now there were three. I'm trying to picture those kind of hanging on the wall. I, I think those would look really cool. Just something not the norm. Oh, what are you? A shoe? with an owl for $15. Why? Why are you $15? The clay cobbler. I'll have to give that one a look up when I'm editing this video. Oh, it's the Titanic. $12.99. Cool. It's cool. Nice decorative piece, but it doesn't look that old. So that one will be staying. I do like the bird. He's got a little age on him. $2.99. Not bad. I need some birds that have a little bit of height like this in my cabinet, so I think I'm going to pick him up. And again, I think what I'm going to do is I will put him into the shop in case anybody loves him as much as I do, offer him first, and if he doesn't sell, then he will have a purpose. That's a cute cute Santa candle holder that we definitely do not need to be picking up. Are you a avocado terrine without your spoon? Yeah, no spoon. No spoon, no bueno. Okay, we're going to keep going. Come on, metal section. Give me something good. What are you? Candle holder. Ooh, you are signed pottery. What does that say? 
Na, na oh my i have no idea what that says but this is an interesting piece it is eight dollars so now in my mind is it worth at least 20. i just don't think it is not as a singleton i'm gonna have to stay there little little quail bale bell quail bell oh my goodness that just didn't flow quite the way I had anticipated it would. Uh, anything interesting? Do you see anything I missed? Let me know in the comments if I passed up something that I should have grabbed. Oh, look at this little chair. Oh, look at this little miniature chair. $3. Yeah. That's probably a good, like, if somebody wants it for themselves price, but not for resale. Okay, dare I say it. <laughs> well, first, St. Patrick's Day, right around the corner. And then Easter. Get ready with those bunnies. Oh, and before anybody comes at me, I'm very, very aware of the reason for Easter and the celebration that is uh, what some prefer to call it <laughs> I'm just like I'm just being careful here um, yes I actu actually celebrate Easter as the resurrection of Christ and celebrate that but the bunnies are cute I came back and looked closer at these melamine because they had a nice look but they are home which I believe is a target brand and we've got bowls and dinnerware which is going to be i'm going to be really really hard pressed to purchase any though well, that's really pretty amari ware for 99 cents hmm i don't know if this is meant to be a saucer or just a little dish because it doesn't have the indentation so for 99 cents i think i will pick this one up it's a nice little piece of pottery from patty klein to george 122508. So Patty Klein made this. Very nice job, Patty. What are you? You're resin. Okay. Thought it was metal for a minute and could have been an older piece. But it is not. Alright, anything interesting here? Pretty. But again, just this stuff is not really desirable. You're gonna hold on to it a long time. I do love this pattern. I used to have a whole bunch of it. I still might. It still might get uncovered in all my boxes of stuff, but um, this one has a crack. But it looks like cross stitch, which is really cool. Let's see who you are. Uh, homato? I don't know some pears milk glass pears and oh these are sweet probably Bavarian let's see you are Norataki oh you surprised me Norataki little plates very sweet but those we are going to leave mugs Okay, one of my projects today is to go through all of my recent mug purchases and make sure everything is listed as it is supposed to be. Because I think some stuff got uh, tossed by the wayside. This is Diplomatico from the Golden Tiki Black Infusion. So the fact that it has a place that it's from as well as... Uh, the liquor that has promoted this tiki mug, I think for three dollars. This is a good pickup Cute little bear mugs Strasburg Railroad You're a long way from home, buddy oh, I don't see anything super enticing because again I have a lot of mugs right now to deal with so I'm gonna be a little discriminating Wallace China Dean's electronics look at this rest this is like an old 50s cafe restaurant wear cup 
and there's no price on it. So if I can pick this up for a buck or two, I'm going to get it. Let's see if there's any more like that. That's a fun find. I'm not familiar with Wallace, so that'll be fun to look that up and see what it's all about. And sometimes I pick up things just because of that. Like I want to do the research. I want the item in my hands. Look how cute this little painted elephant mug is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I do get a little sad when I see child projects. Oh, I also get sad when I see friends separated. So, honey, let's take you over to where you're no longer alone, sitting on the shelf, waiting for somebody to reconnect you. All right, where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Together again. All right, we got some glassware here. I know, you guys are saying, don't even look at the glassware. Don't go near it because you don't need any more glassware. But I can be disciplined. I can look. I can show things to you guys so you can make decisions about things if I find something interesting. Like generally, I pick up these blue swirls. Um, oftentimes they are, oh, how do I say it, Bormioli uh, Ricci or something like that made in Italy. But I don't pick them up in singletons, so there is that. That one would not have tempted me so much. And shot glasses don't tempt me at all, unless I see something like just highly, highly unusual. And then I go, hmm, that could be something. I am finally and sadly letting go of all of my punch bowls. They are going to be in the upcoming auction that is gonna be held. That auction is gonna be online and as soon as I have a link, I'm gonna share that with all of you uh, because you will be able to purchase Niche Lady curated inventory. So if you're a reseller, there could be some amazing, amazing deals in there for you. Ooh, I can't remember if I sold the ones I had. I really don't like paying $3 for them. Ooh, torn, torn, torn. Do I need any more of these to deal with? I really, I really don't. I have some to deal with. Or I might not. I might have sold them. I might have sold them. That is really sweet. But we're going to leave him. Oh, that's really interesting. I don't know why somebody came up with this very super delicate breaks if you look at it funny kind of design. It was very, very popular for a while. Capodimonte does a lot of it, did a lot of it. Um, I just don't quite understand it. I mean, I understand it in the aspect it's beautiful, but as a functionality thing, oh my goodness, it just breaks so easy. That is cool, but not at $8. What are you guys? You're broken, that's what you are. You're like a little safari dude. Oh, they're like two-sided. Two-sided. Oh, that's like Father Time and and Baby New Year. Okay, those, I don't think those actually go together. We've got jars. Oh, also, if you're local, uh, this auction house is going to sell things by the shelf full. Literally by the shelf full. So there's going to be lots and lots of reseller worthy items. All right, we've got some bakeware here. Not really calling my name today. The gravy boat is interesting. Don't know who makes that one. I feel like that would have had an underplate with it as well. And then as usual, we do a quick run through the small appliances just to see if anything is out of place or super unusual. Pillows and blankets have been moved over here. This is the store that they are painting the walls and they have removed everything from the walls over there. So in doing that, they've had to 
make space in the center of the store. So here is all their artwork kind of piled. I am not really in a mode to dig through artwork today. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna surface look at a couple of things, but I'm leaving the artwork for somebody else today. More little frames. And then we've got just a pile of like office supplies and miscellaneous here. Let's see if there's anything special. Hmm. No. Not seeing anything special. Oh, you know what I I know what's gonna be in this auction too is I like an entire tub of Barbie clothes because I just don't have the wherewithal to list it all. So stuff like that. There's going to be some really good stuff. Pretty pink little uh, aquarium there. I wonder what they had in it. Was it just a goldfish? Was it an axolotl like my daughter loves? What are you? Like a little incense box. Okay. Bathroom items. Nothing exciting here. Oh, look at this nice little display they got going. Fun little uh, bird cagey kind of thing that they actually put a bird figurine in. That's cool. I like it. Wow, this is so weird to see that the entire perimeter of the store is empty walls. That is so interesting. This all used to be the electronics. I'm not sure what that is. Anybody know what that is? Huh. All right, this is where they have put all the lamps. Kind of like this little twist design there. Looking through, nothing's really sparking. Here's that Sensi missing his little Sensi top. I have that one actually still for sale. If anybody's interested in a Sandcastle Sensi. Also, I don't know if I've ever told you, I have a clearance section in my nicheladyshop.com. And after I've had something for a week or two, I start marking it down start marking it down so if you came in and you wanted something at first and the price wasn't right well guess what everything gets marked down over time oh how cute is that a little bar serving car little guy I think you would put your bottle of booze here in the middle and then the little shot glasses are all around very cute but it is $20 so we will be leaving it ah kind of digging this rug right here. It says laundry for same day service. Do it yourself. <laughs> My kids already know that though. I don't really have a problem with that. And uh, I think that's too big for my little laundry room area, but okay, that's kind of funny. I kind of like it. That'd be a good outdoor rug. Do they call this like jute? Is that what that is? Nice, nice. Oh, this is the store that I found the Hermes uh, scarf at. And, you know, between all of my moving and packing things away, I finally uncovered my amazing scarves. And Dawn and myself, that is Dawn of Hudson Vintage, go check out her channel. Uh, we're doing a sale of accessories and fun stuff on Friday the whatever the date is. That's this coming Friday, whatever the date is. <laughs> I don't know what the date is. Somebody tell me. I have to look at a calendar. Anyway, I'll flash it. I'll flash it up here on the screen uh, when that is. But that is coming up next Friday over on the Knit Shopping Network channel. Be sure you join us over there. and Hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's look through pillow covers. See if anything stands out. What are you guys? What was I say? Bless our nest. Those are sweet. But you can tell that the fabric is not really high quality. Those are fun. But yeah, 
Nothing I'm going to deal with today. But what is Radley, London? Is that something I should know about? Radley, London. It is $6. I just don't know enough about him. And all the purses have made it over here. I think I have a few purses I'm going to put in that sale. Oh, I, I do. I have a Whiting and Davis purse that will be in that sale for sure. This looks older. This looks like an older little sequined purse. Let's see if you've got like a Hong Kong tag in here because that can be an indicator of age. It's very clean. Yep, made in Hong Kong. This is an older, older purse. Now let me just see if I can get them off of the rack here. Okay, I found a couple. I did get, oh, this is the one that I just showed you. So this is made in Hong Kong. It's all sequins and beads. These are little, like little gray beads for $6. So I got that one. This one is Majid, made in Macau. And I feel like it's about that same age time period. And it is kind of sequined underneath. And these are all beads. So that one is pretty cool. And as I was removing things from the rack to get to those, I found this one. It's just a fun, look at this, it folds, maybe, one-handed, not easy. It's got magnets kind of holding it in place there. There we go, look at that. So it's really bigger than it looks like, but then it folds over. And this one doesn't have a maker name inside. Oh wait, maybe it does, stand by. Okay, it's actually just Express. So now I'm rethinking it. Even though it's really cute and it's only $5, mm, I just, I like it. There's something really appealing about it. So I think I will go ahead and still get it. Oh my, Jordan, look how many wedding dresses this store has. Maybe you should come to Vegas and do some wedding dress shopping. Look at that. It's amazing the quality and the weight of a wedding dress. It just, oh, uh-oh, I got to get that put back on. Okay, you know I did, you know I did. That is a really pretty dress. Oh my gosh, this just is mind boggling what you can find at Goodwill. So, you know, I'm looking for things to wear on this wedding week and such. And this, I wish I could show it to you better. It has such possibilities. Look, let me hang it here. I'm not sure what I would pair it with, maybe even like a pair of pants, but it's, it's dressy yet could go like more casual too. It's an Adriana Papel Evening Essentials. I think it will fit me. Uh, it is $13 though. Oof, do I want to spend $13 on that? <gasps> nope, I don't think I do. I think I can do better. But do let me know what you thought of that style and you know, kind of what I could pair that with. I would love suggestions. I'm not good at dress up. All right, I took a little peek from a distance at the jewelry counter because there was a lot of people around there and today is not a day that I have a lot of time to wait whoop, for help at that counter. Let me get some somebody else's cart out of the way here. So we are going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid and how much it's worth. And then I'll meet you back in the car.
They didn't bring out any new carts while I was there, which was kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I didn't need a whole bunch of stuff right now. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now. So actually, this shopping trip turned out just perfect, and I got some accessories to sell in my upcoming sale, so those be dealt with very quickly. And uh, this was just supposed to be an enjoyable little trip to the thrift to find a few things, which is what I accomplished. All right. I'm going to get some uh, tacos to take home to the kids as a reward for not being there as much as I want to be right now. We're doing game night tonight, too. It's going to be super fun. Anyway, I'm off and running. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.